Hey everybody, this video brings us out to Nashville, North Carolina. And the reason why we are in Nashville, North Carolina today is because I had to pull over to check something out. I'm heading back down to Florida, had to get off of Interstate 95. We're only maybe like a half mile off Interstate 95. I can hear the, the cars in the background. We are not very far, but I had to pull over to check something out. Something that I knew existed, something that I knew was not far off of Interstate 95. Something that I knew I was driving past for many, many years, but never actually stopping to check out. And today was the day I had to pull over to finally see this with my own eyes. We are here at Leon Parker Signs. Look at this really awesome Coca-Cola sign. This guy restores and collects all kinds of amazing vintage advertisement signs. And down there, there's a ton of them, though we're not necessarily here to see all those signs down there or all the signs he has in his museum. Maybe we'll do that today. Maybe we'll do that on another trip. But the reason why I had to pull over here again in Nashville, North Carolina, is to take a look at what's right in front of me right here. This is what I really wanted to see today because I'm a huge fan of just kind of more cheesy, sort of classic advertisements. I mean, the the Coca-Cola button sign is really cool. All the, the, net, the metal signs are really, really neat. But I love giant fiberglass advertisements and honestly, just giant fiberglass things in general. And we've got three gigantic fiberglass things right here that we're gonna take a look at today. Check this out. We've got three gigantic Yogi Bear fiberglass statues. There's Yogi. There's Boo Boo and there is Ranger Smith back there chasing after them. These are absolutely awesome. And I had to pull over to finally check these out. These are so incredibly cool. I'm kind of freaking out right now. I'm, I'm loving these. So the reason why these even exist in the first place is because these were actually used as advertisements for a, a chicken chain store that no longer exists. Well, that's kind of a lie. There actually is one that still exists in the United States. So it's no longer a chain company. It was called Yogi Bear's Yogi Bear's Honey Fried Chicken. Kind of a ridiculous name for a for a company, but um, obviously they were trying to market on the success and the popularity of Yogi Bear. They started in 1968, but by the 1970s, they were already done and over with. Like I said, only one still exists in the United States. And these are, from what I was told, the last of the fiberglass advertisements that were used for the chain. There are no more of these in existence. These are it, and these are really, really cool. I am so digging these. Look at this. Giant fiberglass statues of these classic Hanna-Barbera characters. I mean, these are just so incredibly cool. This is why, again, this is why I had to pull over to check these out. The last ones in existence and I'm, I'm able to actually touch these. These are so cool. I actually just got done talking to the owner himself, Leon Parker, super crazy, nice guy, by the way. And he was telling me all about these and how he, he collected these. And when they actually came in, when he actually got these, the ranger here was missing his hand and his back foot. He actually had to make these himself. So he actually took the time to make a new fiberglass hand and a new fiberglass foot to complete this. This is really awesome. But he was also telling me his set actually technically isn't 100% complete because supposedly they actually made a Cindy bear statue as well. Kind of crazy. They made a Cindy bear. I mean, not that she's necessarily a, um, a character that a lot of people don't know, but when you think about Yogi Bear, you think, you think Yogi, you think Boo Boo, you think Ranger Smith, but I mean, unless you're a big fan of Yogi Bear, you're probably not thinking of, of Cindy Bear, but supposedly Yogi's girlfriend does indeed have a fiberglass statue as well. And um, they might be getting one and they're trying to get one. So we're gonna have a reason to come back out here, probably and hopefully in the not too distant future. If they get in, they get into Cindy and put her right here, that'll be awesome. So then it'll be a complete set that Leon was telling me. He said that they had four of them, there was, there, was, there was four fiberglass figures. And he just needs to get that fourth one to complete the set. That is so awesome. If he gets that in, we're definitely coming back out here. This is really neat. On the back of the fiberglass statues, it actually has the emblem of the company who made them, International 
fiberglass company from Venice, California. Look at that, there's their address, there's their phone number. That is really neat. I'm actually noticing on the back of every single one of these. There's one on Yogi's butt back here as well. That's awesome. And I believe, I think I saw one, if I'm not mistaken, on the back of the Ranger here as well. There is one here, look at this. Again, international fiberglass company. That is cool. And yes, if you're wondering, it is indeed starting to rain. I was kind of hoping maybe I would beat the rain, but um, I might be getting wet in this video, but worth it. I love how calm and cool Yogi Bear is. He does not care that the ranger is chasing after him. Look at that. He's got a smile on his face. His tongue's sticking out. He's got his honey fried chicken. He does not care whatsoever. Boo Boo, on the other hand, though, is completely freaking out. Look at that. He is, he is quite worried. Does not want the ranger catching him. And ranger Smith back there yelling at Yogi Bear to stop, probably because Yogi stole the chicken. Though with that being said, did Yogi really steal the chicken? After all, it is Yogi Bear's honey fried chicken, which would mean that it's actually his fried chicken to begin with. So I'm thinking in this case, the ranger's just being a jerk. It's really neat that they were actually designed with these eye hooks on top of them so you could transport these. That was a great idea. I like the, uh, the ingenuity behind that. The fact that they actually thought ahead, knew they had to transport these, knew it would probably not work very well to just, I don't know, crate them or, um, or something like that. So they put these, these hooks on the back so you could very easily transport these, bring them in with a crane or something like that. Yogi's got, um, got these two big, kind of, uh, I don't want to say hooks, but I mean, he's the, he's the largest out of all them. So he's got these big sort of, uh, I don't know, these big bolt things coming out of his, his back, which I'm assuming is how he was actually transported. Unless there's a, an eye hook on his hat, which I don't, I don't see. So I think that's how he was transported. Because again, the, the boo-boo here, kind of small. I mean, he's a little, little, little taller than me. The ranger also not too crazy tall, definitely taller vet me though but still not a not a crazy huge statue but this yogi i mean he's like twice maybe three times the size of me this guy is this guy is absolutely huge i wonder how these were transported here did they bring them in with a crane did they set them down with a crane were they crated these are just so cool just again i'm, I'm loving these look at the the tongue there which i guess was like a separate part you can actually see into Yogi Bear's mouth, which is really interesting. You think that would be kind of closed off, but it is completely open. Again, these are just so cool. And now I, now I kind of want some fried chicken. I've actually never had honey fried chicken. I, I kind of want to now. Okay, so I'm thinking it's about time to wrap this video up because it is definitely starting to rain a little bit harder. And according to um, weather.com, the rain is is on its way. So I'm gonna finish this up now. But again, just look at these. I had to pull over to check these out. These are amazing giant fiberglass Yogi, Boo Boo, and Ranger Smith figures here. These are so cool. These awesome statues. Again, used in the 1960s into the 1970s for Yogi Bear's honey fried chicken. The last of these in existence, supposedly, you cannot find these anywhere else in the United States, or so Leon was telling me. These are just so incredibly cool, and hopefully someday he does get in his Cindy Bear. Put me right here, right with the gang, to complete his set. And if that happens, if he does indeed get in Cindy Bear, we are absolutely coming back out here to check that out. But in the meantime, had to see the Yogi, Boo Boo, and Ranger Smith. If you've actually ever been out here, leave your comments down below. These guys are just so incredibly awesome. I love this kind of thing. I'm obsessed with this kind of thing. Really awesome, amazing roadside attractions. Glad he has these out in his yard and not inside the, the actual museum he has over there. It'd still be cool if he had them. We, we would go in there. We would see them if they were inside the museum, but I like the fact that he actually has them out here on the side of the road still doing some advertising, advertising his sign and museum. Again, these guys are just so awesome. I am in love with these. I miss the days of Hanna-Barbera cartoons still kind of being in the forefront. I think kids these days, maybe Scooby-Doo. I think Scooby-Doo's kind of been around the whole time. Sco Scooby has not really left the forefront. Kids these days, they pretty much know who, who Scooby-Doo is, but do kids these days really know who 
Yogi Bear is or, or Jabberjaw or Josie and the Pussycats or just any of those classic million different Hanna-Barbera cartoons. There were a million different Hanna-Barbera cartoons. They, they, made a, they made a lot of cartoons back in the day, but Yogi was one of my favorites. I loved watching the classic Yogi Bear cartoons and the classic Yogi Bear shorts and all the different um, the different holiday episodes they did. He had some movies as well. I've got them on DVD. I love them. I still watch them to this day. It's kind of a shame that I bet kids driving past these days probably don't really know who Yogi Bear is. Or maybe they do. Maybe I'm wrong. Do kids these days know Yogi Bear? I kind of hope they do. These are just so cool though. But I do miss Hanna-Barbera characters actually being used to advertise. Because, I mean, these are just so awesome. But all right, guys, with that, we are definitely done. The rain is coming down. The rain is coming our way. So we have to wrap this video up. But just wanted to stop out here and see these amazing giant Yogi Bear fiberglass statues because these are so awesome here at Leon Parker Signs. How awesome are these? And Leon Parker is the nicest man in the world. He actually came out, introduced himself to me. I introduced myself to him. We got talking. He was telling me all about the, the fiberglass statues, all about his signs, all about his museum inside there, telling me he was in the process of possibly getting a Cindy to go along with these to complete his set. And he even gave me a Leon Parker signs and graphics sticker to go on the back of a Vanabelle. That will definitely be happening. So super friendly guy. He welcomes visitors to come out here and video his amazing fiberglass statues or get their photos taken with them or just to take pictures in general. Again, super friendly guy who welcomes visitors. But all right, again, it's raining. We gotta go. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon to help support the show and to keep the show going. So I really do appreciate that. There's also a ton of bugs out here in North Carolina. They're kind of driving me crazy, but it is definitely worth it. So if you guys have ever actually been out here, again, leave your comments down below. I want to hear about you and your adventures with these amazing roadside relics, these amazing vintage advertisement signs. Because these are so cool. Again, Yogi Bear's honey fried chicken. How awesome are these? Leave your comments down below about these amazing fiberglass statues. But all right, guys. So if you did watch this video all the way to the very end, I'm going to say hashtag, hashtag, I don't think the Rangers going to like this, Yogi. That's what I want you to do. Hashtag down below. I don't think the Rangers gonna like this, but honestly, I think I think the Ranger would like this. The fact that he's still being used as advertisement to this very, very day, the last of his kind. He's been restored, he's been saved, and they're out here right now in Nashville, North Carolina. These are so awesome, but all right, guys, again, I'm getting wet, so thank, like I said, thank you for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye.